Hello, uh, I'm making another video, uh, yeah, uh, so, kind of, uh, I guess I'm just gonna show, like, some of the tobacco I have, uh, kind of give you an idea of what I smoke, uh, show the pipes I have with me here, well, I think there's one more, but I don't really know where it is, um, yeah, been watching YouTube videos. Seeing what people's got new. I need to subscribe to a lot of people. Because I haven't. Because I didn't have a channel or anything. So I just didn't. Um, also in the video I posted earlier. I think it just now got loaded. But uh, I mentioned about maybe showing a trap or something. This is an older trap. Uh, and I actually don't use it when I trap. But only because mainly this pan, it needs a new pan. Like this pan's pitted and everything and it's falling apart around the edges. I picked this one up like four bucks at a Peddler Small. Uh, it was in a home decor section and I just thought, uh, I don't want to see a, you know, nice antique piece get ruined. Because that's, in my opinion, what happens with all these people that does this home decor crap and takes antiques that are really nice on their own. Don't get me wrong, I like some of the home decor stuff. My mom has it all over her house. But, uh, yeah. Like, but like this, this stands on its own. It's a piece of history. There's some stuff like that. I've seen stuff like that just get flat ruined. Like, uh, even pipes. I saw, like, a home decor shop that had, like, a pipe attached to the top of a jar. You know, that pipe's not going to be used anymore. So, I don't know. It, some of it's okay, I guess that's your style but it's not mine I, I prefer actual antiques uh, I kind of collect them I don't collect them so much as I use them if I if I buy an antique generally I'll use it uh, this trap is an exception it's in not up to shape for me to use I mean it cost me as much to repair it as it would you know for me to probably almost get a new one I don't need any more right now anyway so it's good but it still actually has all of its snap and everything, which is really cool. Uh, I could use it if I wanted to. It would definitely catch an animal, without a doubt. Um, it doesn't have as much holding power, but when a trap gets old, it loses some of its holding power anyway. Uh, this one happens to be very old and not taken care of that well. Um, some of it's pitted, but it's made out of really solid steel, so that's not a huge deal. Uh, if I wanted to, I could turn this into a knife or something. Too hard. Some of the some of this metal is actually pretty good. I could, you know, heat that up and hammer it out. Nah, uh, it's not a bad idea actually. I might try that. But anyway, what I'm going to show is uh, just in case somebody watches this and thinks, oh, that's so cruelly traps. I'm, I'm going to show something that I show to people all the time. I'm using this one just because the only other one I had in the house without going out to my car or something was a. Uh, one that is actually a pain to get out of. Uh, it is a uh, it it's a trap that's for more cunning animals, and uh, it's like it's an anti escape trap. Um, Cause an animal can't pull out of a trap. I mean, you know, it it doesn't like bite into them or something. It literally just holds their hand, and I mean, uh, that's that's humane. I mean, and law is, when you find an animal, you have to put it out of its misery. So, you know. Anyway, but I'll show you this. Uh, I'm going to use my left hand because I'm holding it with my right. But anyway, hand, you know, right on my knuckles. It doesn't hurt at all. It's not even pinching my skin. Like, you, you can see. Like, it's, it's squeezing my skin right there, but I don't even feel that. And, I'll, I mean, heck, I'll put it on my fingers. It's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt that bad. It doesn't hurt at all, actually. It just feels like pressure there. Not like a lot of pressure, like somebody hurting me. It's just pushing down. But uh, yeah, I'll do more on that. I'm going to do a trapping video or two, I believe. But uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, thought I'd go ahead and get that out of the way. I'm in the house, so I'm not smoking right now.
That's my thought today anyway. <laughs> yeah, well. What you gonna do? It's the weekend. Uh, ain't going out to a party or anything, so. I'll just stay around the house and smoke my pipes. Um, I'm use a little snuff though. Just cause I haven't had no nicotine in a while. I'd like a little. Um, this is Silver Dollar. It's, it's an American snuff if I'm not mistaken. But uh. It's cheap. You can pick this up a lot of places, actually. Cherry, menthol, that's what this is. Um, it's not as good as some, like, the European ones. Like, Belgium stuff is good. I actually have some coming. It's supposed to be, like, hot chocolate stuff. I'll do a video on that. That should be, that should be real good. Looking forward to that. And then, uh, even more that you can buy in America is, like, traditional stuff, like what old women use, you know? And, uh, the way my buddy describes it to people is, it smells like a rodeo, man. It smells like a rodeo. I love that. It, it does smell like a rodeo. <laughs> but, yeah. And, uh, uh, these things I like because you can, it's got a little hole on it and you can just tap it out. Um, I use some that's in like a can too and you just, I use the spoon off my pipe tool and I just use it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and I'm going to, Oh gosh, that was bright. Uh, show you some uh, pipe tobaccos and such and all in kind of my little tobacco area. Oh, also, uh, this is kind of my survival bag. That what I take camping and stuff to. And this, this is one of the traps like I keep in it. And that's the one I was talking about. It it closes, and it's hard to get off. It's just hard to open in general. Also, my bowling bag. I'm a bowler. Might do a video on that. Who knows? Yeah. I'm not bad. Pretty good. I used to work in a bowling alley. But, uh, yeah, here. It's not very bright in here. Probably less light than it was outside. But, uh, kind of what I got. A little traveling case. I keep my Englishes out generally, and that's the only two I have right now. Because I don't like them smelling my other stuff. My little travel size humidor. But, uh, it needs filled up some. Not much in it. Mirrors from I mentioned in another video. Bunch of junk. Cigar bands. Uh, I make, uh, a I make wash tub bases. I want to use them when I make one for the, uh, for the, uh, stem, I guess you'd call it. I'm not sure what that's called. I'm not a music person, really. I can play wash tub bass pretty good and a little bit of mandolin, but yeah. Uh, tabletop pipe I made. Smokes really good. You know, a few other pipes. I think I've used all of them in the videos. Except for maybe this one. Not sure. Pipe temporary use. The uh, soundtrack from Paint Your Wagon. Yes, I'm a western guy. A lot of young people probably don't know what that movie is. It's a good movie. You should watch it. Uh, yeah, just kind of my tobacco and some tools I throw in here too. I like backwoods cigars. They taste they they taste good. All of them do. I like Honeyberry. I smoke Prince Albert. I actually really like Prince Albert. I think it's a good quality aromatic. There's some Burley Ebony that I've smoked. Uh, that's Burley. Yeah, that's burly. Island coconut, really nice room note on that one. Um, Fayette favorite, that's good. It's a, it's a mixture that they make it a Fayette. It's good. Um, burly again. Uh, dark rum, which is really good. I roll it in rolling paper sometimes when I don't want to be outside long. Smoke it like you would Prince Albert or something. Uh, Here's a twist of tobacco. I'm pretty sure this one's Kentucky Burley. You can chew, I've chewed some of it and uh, like the crumble off of it, you can smoke it. Very, very stout smoke. Very, very stout smoke. Uh, if you wanna see if you're a real man, try some of that shit. Yeah, that'll hurt you. Chocolate, again, really good room notes. Main reason I bought it. it smells kinda like brownies. Uh, cigar I have in with a, just a little bit of blackberry. That's not even a bowl full, probably. 
but I threw the cigar in there and it smells like blackberries now so I'm going to smoke that and see if it still tastes like blackberries handkerchief because I use snuff and it'll make your nose pour yeah that's about it in here some pipe cleaners I need to get some more for my knives that's more I have I like more knives yeah but I mean it's pretty much the grand tour <laughs> nothing special I have some of my black powder stuff measure powder flask yeah, no. that's pretty much it uh, probably seen more in my room than you would have liked to it's nasty need to clean it the girl ain't been over though so I ain't worried about it <laughs> if she ain't gonna complain at me who is yeah but uh, I guess that's it just gonna sit around Use a little more stuff. I don't think I'll smoke any more than that. I don't feel like going back outside. Could go to my car. Yeah. I don't know. Probably won't. Alright. Until next time. Have a good. Dang. I, I spilled snuff. <sighs> Crap. Okay. Bye bye.